Uh, David here. This is Doc. Um, How you doing? We, uh, this is totally impromptu and whatnot. Uh, we just wanted to talk to you real quick about a uh, film that we'll hopefully be releasing this summer uh, called The Last Patriots. There's a trailer for The Last Patriots that I released about two years ago and we never made it. But there is a script for it and we're planning on it being a fairly large production. Uh, we'll, it'll, it'll probably cost more money. We'll try to get some better equipment. We might try to get some mics and stuff to make just make it seem more professional. Um, the basic plot is basically yeah. it's the future about um, I'm trying to think exactly. It's, it's in the future about I think 20 years and um, basically the country has been changed into kind of a totalitarian, I mean, totalitarian, I can't say that word, can you? Okay. Total, total, a dictatorship. And the right to bear arms as defined in the Constitution has been taken away. Uh, and most, you know, the U.S. military has been dismantled, all this stuff, you know, there's foreign powers in the United States controlling it and everything. But there's little bands of people that are, that want to, like, free their country and everything, and they're, they're little resistance groups. David is going to play the leader of one of them. I'm going to play the bad guy trying to hunt him out. Um, you know what I find exciting about this is that it's sort of happening now. It is sort of happening. If we think about it, the country is kind of going in that direction. And we hear every day, I don't know if you, what you listen to on the radio, what you watch on TV, but the country is headed in that direction. Um, so. We'll look at some uh, great talent uh, in that film by David and, and he got, I mean, yeah. James Houston and he'll also play some of the resistance and possibly Jimmy even Hart. Luke Solomon who, yeah, uh, Kyle who recently got a haircut, he's the dude with the long hair but he got a haircut so, uh, but he's going to be a bad guy. Uh, he'll probably be one of my, like, um, what's the word I'm looking for? He's with helmet with this stuff. Uh -huh. He'll probably play one of my assistants, and Francisco Condor, and Ruben Elison did have a part, but Ruben's moving to Oregon. Uh, great talent, though. Great talent Ruben had, but uh, he's gone. In tribute, we should play Gary on this one. We should. Instead, we're gonna have to find a replacement. Um, a I'm thinking out. maybe the dog. He's laying on the floor here. I, th I thought he may make a good replacement. I'm just gonna, that was a dumb joke. <laughs> um, but uh, the character has to be. I am the guy in charge of the district that this little group of freedom fighters is in, and I spend my days. An army. Like an it's like an army. It's like a rogue. Well, uh, militia. Yeah, yeah, militia kind of like a rogue militia group that. David Marshall is leading. Yeah, Mar but Marshall. who? You or me? Oh, I, I, we are the ruling power 
and we take a tight fist and we root out all the uh, resistance and whatnot. And Ruben's character was a reporter because the United States still in this in this this plot movie the, it still has like a lot of free speech. So you have right to the press, right to all that stuff. So he's still um, he's reporting, you know, stuff that my guys are doing, you know, torture and you know you know, mean stuff, because I'm not going to be a nice guy. Um, but I think it'll be, it'll be a real, you know, cool movie, uh, educational maybe even as well, insightful into the future, and we hope and pray that it will... Does not happen. That it doesn't happen in real life, but, um, you know, it's whatever the Lord has planned for this country, and, and I think in memoriam we should play another song. nothing to do with. Yeah. It was just like amazing grace. Okay. Amazing I want you to sing with me. Oh. Amazing grace how sweet the sound that saved a Patriots, some random music, it's totally random. Like, we didn't plan any of this to happen. Nope. And you guys need to know that, because otherwise you're gonna go to bed tonight and be like, my world is over, I'm so confused, what are they doing? So, rest assured, we are sane. Sure, sure. No, okay. Let's play another song.